Alright, hello and welcome back to the second quest of The Legend of Zelda. We are going to head out and uh, grab the Master Sword, or the Magic Sword as it's actually called in this game. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, but in order to do so, we're going to head off to our little teleportation area, or transportation area, or whatever it's technically called. I actually don't know if that has an official name. I'm sure it has something that it's generally called, but, uh, whatever. Take any road you want. We're going to take the middle road, and we're going to go to the area around Death Mountain. And the location of the Magic Sword is, um, close to where we enter level 9, however... Um, when we head up that staircase, at least level 9 in uh, the first quest, when we head up that staircase and normally would go to the left, where we bombed against the wall and found level 9, um, this time around we are going to go to the right, which is where kind of there's a... a oh, let's go. That doesn't really matter. Uh, there's a group of rocks that are um, in the shape of an arrow, And we are going to push this front rock. That will open up this staircase. And we will have our reward. Alright, now we have to journey back to the graveyard. So we have to redo that trip just in reverse that we just did. Alright. There we go, we got our health back. Oh, briefly. Alright. And yeah, let's just go over here. Alright, very good. So, now we will head down here. And yes, as I said, we are heading back to the graveyard, which is where we will find level 6. We can get out our whistle, because that's what we're going to need. And we'll head over to the west middle section. Blow the whistle. And that will unveil this staircase leading to level 6. Now, level 6, we have a lot of uh, whiz robes that we're going to have to deal with. Only when I say deal with, what I really mean is escape from. We're going to skip by all of these runs in this room because uh, they don't do anything. We don't get anything for killing them. Um, we don't want to deal with that right now. And similarly, we're just going to run from this room. You can put a bomb at the top of this uh, that room we were just in no reason to. We can go from a different direction, um, which is what we're going to do, so I'm not going to bother right now, but it is an option. We're also going to come back to this room down here. But for now, we're going to go through here, and we will take care of the enemies in this room. Oh, very nice. That's always a good bonus. There's not a lot of the other whiz robes that we actually have to kill, actually, moving forward. Um, there's certainly some, but... Yeah, why don't we just open this while we're here. Alright, let's head through here. And we're going to have some spike traps, so we'll set that off, but then just step back. And then we're going to push this. Collect this rupee. And then head down these stairs. And we do that in order to get... The step ladder. Ah, there we go. All right, very good. Step ladder. So what we'll do here? Bait the traps. Come through. We're gonna go back to the room that we skipped, the one that we didn't actually go into at all. And we'll 
head down here, and oh yes, I forgot that we need the candle. I'm actually going to step off right here. Use the candle, and then we'll see how we can manipulate the room, because usually you can manipulate this room reasonably well to help deal with the whiz robes without being in uh, much danger at all. Not always, but usually, or at least often. Just depending on where they go. Now let's see if we can hopefully get away with getting this key without getting hit by this uh, uh, bubble. Good, alright. And we're out. Now, this door that I opened with the key here, you didn't actually need to. You could have bypassed this door and gone a different direction. South of the arrow mark hides a secret. Um, that is our second reference to the arrow, and it's actually the one that we were just at. Uh, and it's uh, the location of something that we'll see in the next video. Let's go with you for right now. So yes, we can bomb our way this way. Uh, yeah, let's just kill these guys here. Grab the map, and then we can go in here, just so what this room is like, but we're not going to do anything in here. Um, you could have, again, bombed upwards from that floor there, and you can actually bomb up through... I want to show you. In this room, you can bomb up and down. That's what I was trying to get across, but we don't need to. We're not going to bother, uh, because we can just go through this wall here. However, in here, we will get our bombs out, and we're going to bomb through this wall. We're going to have to get back to the blue bubble to get our attack back, but until then, we can just grab the compass, and we can just take some of these guys out, although really there's no reason to bother. We don't really gain anything from doing that. All right. So, let's find the blue bubble. There we go. And then let's just get out of here. I don't think I got hit by it. Good, okay. Alright, now let's take care of these guys. I don't think this wall bombs. I forget though. No, okay, good. Alright. So, let's head up this way. Oh, no, I remember now. Okay, sorry. So, yeah, there's that room up there that we do not want to go into. We're going to go through this wall. And I will show you this room, because it tends to be a little easier to deal with from this side. Um, if you don't know that that wall's false, you would have had to battle the whiz robes up in that room that I kind of skipped. Um, but this is a lot nicer. You just go this direction and not have to fight those guys and take all that extra damage. However, obviously we cannot get across anywhere here, at least not up towards where that key is. What we have to do is move that and then come across here. You also may notice, I mean, all the other levels that we've gone through so far have been in the shape of letters, and this level obviously is just kind of irregularly shaped. Um, it doesn't quite make sense to me, but what I have seen is that um, apparently this is kind of like the leftover space from the L and uh, maybe the Z. I don't know. Um, it didn't really make sense to me when I read it, but I just I don't know, accept that it is what it is. Either way, we're going to bomb down through here. We don't necessarily have to, but no reason to waste this key. And then we will head up and through here, where we will find a two-headed Gliok. Oops, did not mean to do that. That was a waste, but whatever. Now he's found it very rude that we don't block um, those shots with our shield. Alright, so in here are a bunch of red bubbles that we hopefully will not be hit by, because I don't feel like dealing with that. Alright, well done. Down these stairs, get out our boomerang quickly. And 
Very good. And then we get out our bombs. We don't really have to kill this in this room, but I prefer to. That was poorly done. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah, so the only thing that allows you to do is open up the passage backwards, so you absolutely do not have to. But it is done. So now we will step in here, and we will find Goma. Let's see how we, we do. This is a three-shot Goma, just like the one that we fought just in the last level. Should be fine, so long as I don't take too long to get these shots off. All right. And one more. There we go. All right. Get our heart container. Step forward and collect the next piece of the Triforce. What I think I will do quickly is just get out the whistle here, try to head over to the second level. Uh, well, oh, that's right, we can't go on the screen. Um, the third level in the second quest, or the second level in the first quest, um, basically over on the western part of the map. Here we are. And the reason I want to go here is just to get close to the coast and quickly collect the last uh, heart container that is on the world map. Oops, I'm too, too high, too high. I gotta go down one step. There we go. Whatever, I don't need to kill them. Alright, and just up here. There we go. Take care of that, and then why don't I just, um, hmm. Where do I want to end things? Why don't we just step over here, kill all these enemies so we don't have to worry about anything being alive. And uh, we'll just end things right there. Um, and when we come back, we will handle level 7. But till then, see ya.